Hi everyone, this is Amy Ruth, and this is my channel, Amy Ruth Treasures. Today I'd like to embark on a new thing, and that is to start selling some of my inventory. I would like to go through this book with you here in a moment, but I would like to let you know that I'm going, I don't really have a store yet, but if you're interested in any of the books that I will show, I will have my email address linked in the description below. And if you're interested, Send me an email and we'll see about getting this book to you. So there will be upcoming videos with more books, but we're going to start with the color kittens today. This is a little golden book and it was one of the, my favorites as a child. Um, this particular version is 1971. And that's the year I was born, so now you know how old I am. <laughs> but um, yes, this is the one I remember as a child, and I was just fascinated with all of the colors, and I love kittens, so it was just a wonderful combination. Um, and so I tried to use as many of the colors as was in the book with the extra pages. You can see the front here. It has the uh, reinforcements on the corners, and this one does not have the UPC symbol on the back. This is one of the older Little Golden books before they started changing out the design and adding the UPC symbol. So it does have a little peeling here, but that's just the age of the book and just adds to its vintage vibe. Um, on the side here, I have some buttons sewed on in multicolors, really fun. And as you can see on the front and the back, I have this very colorful rickrack. So let's get into it. I have this little closure here that is just basically a hair tie, an elastic hair tie that you just pull off of there. And it's got a little stub there to wrap it around when you're done. And this has plenty of room to grow. There's lots of pages in here. As a matter of fact, there's 168 pages. I counted them earlier. So... A total of 168 pages if you count the front and the back. So let's get into it. Here in the front cover um, I've got a little pocket. This is from a Richard Scary book. A lot of these little cutouts you'll see throughout the book. I just thought they went so well and they have the little paint cans. Added some journaling space. Have buttons on the inside to kind of tie down the uh, the rick rack because I don't think I had enough to go all the way around both sides, so I just stopped it there and it looked better with the buttons. Okay, so here's the first page. This is by Margaret Wise Brown, and she is an excellent author. I love all of her books. Let's see, there it is, 1971. I got a little fabric tab here. Some kitten stamps. Just a colorful blanket in this children's book I came across. I did um, dye a lot of the paper with Kool-Aid colored dyes. There's another journaling spot featuring orange. This is from a piano book that I have taught out of before. It's for beginners. And then this, uh, this I thought was a very colorful tag to put in here, so I added some uh, trim to it and multicolored flowers. Guest check, great for writing some notes on there. This came from, I believe, the cover of a paper pack. And I, you know how they show you a little clip of each kind that they have in there? I just cut that out and stuck it in here since it's so colorful. Try to put some neutrals in here to kind of give your eye a break from the color. <laughs> Another kitty cat stamp. Some math pages. Here's the yellow dye. Here's a little, I believe I got this from a Childcraft encyclopedia book that was already torn up. So I went in and just um, 
cut out the really cute pictures. And I came across this one, and it kind of reminds me of my kittens. Um, well, our former cat, she was a tabby cat, and she was gray. And um, we've had her for 16 years, and she passed away in February. And weren't sure if we were going to get another cat. But Ebony walked into our lives, a little black kitten. And so this kind of reminds me of my cat. So I thought it was special. Um, there's a pocket there for you to put anything in there. So I do have a cat in my home. So if you're allergic to cats, this may not be the book. These may not be the books for you. <laughs> but there we go. No smoking. Pink. And if you'll notice, I like to do this with all golden books that I make, where I take the original page and I highlight it in some way where it stands out. See here we have the uh, Rick Rack, and then the, on this next page back here, I have this yellow ribbon. Is there another page? I can't. I don't see it. There's not another page. Okay. So like if, if you have bought this book and you've decorated it and you have pictures and memories written down and all of the things, um, say you have a grandchild that you would like to read the story to. Um, of course, it's fun to look through everything, but if you don't really have time to look through the whole book and you just want to read them the story, then it's easy to find the original pages. So you flip there and then you find the next ribbon, flip to that page, find the next ribbon. See what I'm saying? And I use so many different colors. But it always takes you to the original pages of the book, which are in order. So where were we? I believe on the yellow ribbon. Okay. Another Richard Scary drawing. Alley Cat keeps his paint in cans. And then this is a little flip up for writing or whatever. This bright deli paper. And this is stapled on here. It's just a collage of different items and a tag. But you can open up this way and write things in. I think that this is even smaller than college rule, but I like it. Here I have some little flowers in the middle because this is the middle of the first signature. Here is a little index card that I sewed on. Another place for journaling back here. This is just kind of a paper ruffle with zigzag stitch. I glued some more of this Rick Rack on there. Green dyed. Pink as pigs. Pink as a rose or a baby's nose. I love this ribbon. More pink. Here's a fabric flip. With a kitty sleeping. Another card. Um, this right here that I glued on this card is actually from... Uh, floral arrangements. You know how they wrap them sometimes in this plasticky foil stuff? That's what that is. I don't know what it's called. Just extra little things in here. More math. Lace. Now this lace is further in. It's not an original page. So I think I did all the original pages with um, ribbon and not lace. Here we have a little booklet. Sweet, just made from just paper from some project. And it's got lace on the front. Here's the other side of that page. Whoever had this book passed it and they got a sticker. <laughs> it was probably one of my kids' books. Because I did teach all of my kids at some point. Okay. Definition of paint. Going so smoothly. Alley Cat. Another colorful page from the, that children's book. This is paper clipped on here, but it's just a card, playing card that's been altered a little bit. Or 
orange. And there's the center of the book. I, it was pretty big gap here. I think this is one of the earlier books that I was making. I do have a lot of earlier books that I'm going to be putting out. And then I have newer books that I, I do slightly differently. But this was a learning process for me. But there was a big gap. So I thought this is the perfect place for this ribbon. So it just kind of takes away from the distraction of the gap. So then we have purple. This is an old um, music score. Playmates. I don't know the name of the song. Oh, there it is. That is the name of the song. Playmates. Okay. I don't know that one. That's before my time. Purple. More deli paper. Here I have a pocket with um, just a CD envelope. Um, you can put something else in here, but that's kind of the background that I put in there. More green ribbon, blue dyed, purple grid. Oh, look at the kitty cat. <laughs> and then here's an envelope. I don't know if any of you have seen this book before. I can't remember the name of it. I have it over on my shelf, but it has a lot of interesting pages with these weird, quirky animals and things. And I just love the art. So I've made making envelopes out of some of the pages, and this is one of them. And then here's a card that I made, a journaling card. This was a page in a book. I just love that little black cat. <laughs> just regular coffee dyed paper there to go with the brown. Uh, and I was also trying out some of my stitches on my sewing machine. <laughs> I used to sew quilts and things. Um, I probably still can, but um, this was when I first started sewing onto paper and realized how fun it was. Here's some Monopoly money in multicolors. And then this is like a waxed sandwich bag. And I made one of these cards. Now, the person that I got this idea from is Chasing Retro. Her name is Meg. I love her channel. Um, her and I have very similar tastes. Um, but she called these TV cards, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, where it looks like you're watching TV and you see this, you know, scene going on. I thought that was fun. So I've got one here. And I'll try to link her a video below so you can see it for yourself. Here's the halfway point of the second signature. And here's the other side of that bag. And here's another scene that I made. And I have a lot of this. This paper is like from the four and a half by six and a half, I believe, pads that you could get like at Hobby Lobby. And um, yeah, that they have some really cool design paper in the smaller size. So it was perfect for these old images in these books. There's a hidden paper clip here holding onto this card that I made. I um, thought it kind of looked like pouring purple paint. But you can see the sewing that I did here on the back. Just kind of fun to write next to something that's so textured. I love that. This has had um, the right colors for this page. I forgot where I got this. And then another index card that I made with bright pink index paper on the back. This is just a place that something could be put, a little pocket, but when you flip it this way, it opens up. And I got this idea from Gail Agustinelli. She has a video about how to make these, and I'll try to find that one too. I know it's an older video. I'm going to have to go back and look in the archives <laughs> if she still has it up and link it. If, if it's there, I'll link it. I loved this fabric. Isn't that perfect for this book? It's like blotches of paint. 
I don't normally like brightly colored fabrics, but I do have some, and this one was perfect for here. So I did put some lace on this page, looks like. Look at that. I love it. This was one of my favorite pages, I remember. Sleeping under the rose tree. <laughs> Stamp. This is also from that book with the interesting illustrations. And we had a green, greenish dollar bill here. The dollar bill dodo is easy to spot. He is made of green paper and worth quite a lot. <laughs> okay. This is from the spine that came off of this book. I like to try to include those somewhere inside of my golden books also. And just a little fun invoice thing with a carbon copy on the back to do something with. Whatever. Whatever your mind tells you to do. <laughs> and we have the blue. And here we have some trim here. I love this. It's so soft. Lots of Easter eggs with a lot of bright, bright colors. They're dancing. A pocket with just some colorful flowers that I put in here that I sewed around. And there, the final page. This was also my favorite page of the book where all of the colors started mixing together. And that's the end. So there is the Color Kittens book. So I will be selling this book at a very discounted price. And I'm asking $68. It's going to include the shipping. And with that being said, it will need to be within the 48 contiguous states that I can mail it to because I don't know about Hawaii and Alaska. I just don't know about the pricing on the shipping. And I'm pretty sure that within the states, it will be affordable for me to send it to you if you decide to purchase this. If you're interested, I have the email address. I'll list it here on the screen. Email me, and um, right now I'm using PayPal. I don't have any other way to pay right now, so if you use PayPal, then it should work out. Uh, I may open up to other vendors in the future, but right now I'm just using PayPal. So whoever is the first one to confirm that they want it and make the payment, that's who will get the book. Thank you for joining me today on this little venture through this book. If you would like to see more of these, please like and subscribe and comment, and I will be coming out with some more videos with some other books. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you soon.